Hello everyone, and welcome to a Fallout 76 update video. Because yesterday, today in my time, but yesterday in your time, there was a new Inside the Vault article published going over Update 6 highlights, and some stuff about a free trial and double XP weekend. So I'm just going to quickly go over all of that in this video. If you do want to read the full Inside the Vault yourself, there will of course be a link to it in the description, so you can click on that and have a read through. But I'll be covering pretty much everything here, because it's not too long of a one, but it does have lots of interesting stuff I'd like to discuss with all of you. Because I think as a, as a community, it's good to talk about the upcoming stuff when it's actually confirmed as being upcoming stuff. I, I'm kind of jabbing at all the people who do all the leaks and stuff. That I'm not a fan of leaks. But I do get why people like them, to be fair. So, first up, the free trial and double XP weekend. So, starting December 12th, that is Thursday coming up. Wait, Thursday coming up? Yes, because I'm recording this on Thursday. Thursday coming up at 11am Eastern Time, up until Monday, December 16th at 12pm Eastern Time. It is a free trial weekend and double XP weekend. So, if you already have the game, double XP for Thursday through Monday. Pretty sweet, I'm happy with that, especially seeing as I'll probably mass record scavenger run episodes during that time. And if you don't have the game but want to try it out, then you've got a free opportunity to do so. The article does point out that if you are on console you need Xbox Gold or PlayStation Plus, but yeah, it's an online game so you need that stuff if you're going to try it out. But I would highly recommend people giving the game a try at this point. This is pre-Wastelander so a lot of stuff will change early on next year, but for the time being it's nice to just... If you're considering getting into the game just for Wastelanders, it might be worth jumping in and seeing what the core gameplay experience is like right now to see if you'd even want to be in if Wastelanders appears. It also is apparently going to be, yeah, 50% off during this time, so if you jump in for a free trial and decide you really love the game and don't understand what all criticism was about, which is a comment I see quite a lot, especially on like the beginner's guide and stuff, then you might decide you want to buy it. Half price, perfect. That's just a nice little thing, get lots of new players into the game, I am 100% down for that. On to the Update 16 stuff, where it's going to be occurring on Tuesday. So Tuesday the 10th of December, we're having Update 16 drop, which is going to be the last big update this year. So nothing else in December after this, but this one has a lot of stuff to look forward to. And I think I'm actually going to jump around in the article a bit. Start with the whole holiday Christmassy stuff, where we're going to have a Scorched from December 12th, Scorch will start dressing up in, like, Christmas costumes and jingle. And, yeah, there's Holiday Scorch being added. I'll put the image up on screen, because it's quite a funny little one. But, yeah, each time you take down a Holiday Scorch, they'll drop a Holiday gift for you to unwrap. And it appears there's going to be low, medium, and high-quality gifts, and can contain stuff from coal to rare plans and recipes. So, yeah, I'm totally down for that, because I love getting plans and stuff, and if it's going to give rare plans, then sweet, I am 100% down for just hunting these things for ages and ages and ages. And also there's going to be wrapping paper you receive when doing that, which seems to be a crafting component to make your own holiday gifts, which you can give to other players, which is just a really nice thing. You kill tons of Scorched, you can just give away this thing. I'm sure people will use it to kind of like get themselves rewards somehow, but it just seems cool. And this Holiday Scorched event will start on December 12th at 11am Eastern Time and end on the 26th of December, that's Friday the 26th of December, 12pm Eastern Time. So you've got, what's that, 14 days, two whole weeks of just, yeah, just killing Scorched and stuff. And this appears to be, they even say throughout Appalachia are getting into the spirit of season, so it appears it's going to be all over the place, not an event that's limited to a location. These will just be Holiday Scorch appearing randomly. To be fair, they don't entirely rule out the fact it could be an event event, like a public event similar to what we're used to, but it appears like it's going to be they'll just randomly be the Scorched kicking up in places. So I'll probably spend a lot of time in the forest, like Morgantown, Flatwoods area, because there's always lots of Scorch around there, so I'll probably go hunting there. We are also getting Santatron, which is a Protectron that looks kind of like Santa. There's some great images in this Inside the Vault, I'll be putting them up on screen because they do look kind of great. But yeah, for a limited time after Update 16 arrives, you will be able to claim a free Santatron bot from the Atomic Shop. 
So this is similar to those scrap protectrons, but it does something a bit different. You build it in your camp, and the bot roams the nearby area to collect treats for you like candy, toys, and coal. So, collects more specific scrap by the looks of it. And, well, more random stuff, but it's got a different list. And, apparently, whilst the Holiday Scorched event, which I just talked about, is going on, the Santatron will occasionally give you holiday gifts of random quality as well. So those low, or those rare... No, low, medium, and high quality gifts, sorry. So yeah, there's going to be apparently more details in the next Atomic Shop article, so look out for that. But yeah, this is coming free for everyone, which I'm down for. We'll all be able to build Santatrons after update 16. I'm not sure what we'll... Yeah, we're going to be able to keep them all year round, I assume. So there's going to be lots of us with um, slightly Christmas-themed <laughs> builds unintentionally, which will be amusing. Anyway, going back up in the article, in my little scroll wheel, there's some changes coming to Nuclear Winter, which I'll get to in a minute, because there's a bunch of those. But first off, for any of you with private worlds, they're changing it. So, normally, if you've got a, your own private server, then anyone on your friends list can jump in. Now, though, you're going to be able to set it to team only or all friends. All friends is just like it is now. Anyone on your friends list can join and jump into your private world, which a lot of people don't like, because you might have friended like a dozen people, and some of them might be jerks, it turns out you just friended with them to trade one time, and now they're jumping in your private server where you want to be alone for a while. Fair enough. Problem is, the team only, it says here, by choosing team only, just you and players you've already formed a team with can enter your private world. I don't fully understand what that means. Is that saying that someone who you've teamed up with just ever, like you've been in a team with them once, they can join up? Or is it a case of, if you're currently in a team with them, so you've gone on to a public server, or before logging in, you've added them to team, then they jump in? Because the first option is just kind of weird, and means anyone you've teamed up with could just be jumping in, and I've teamed up with randoms before, you do it from time to time. Or it means you're only going to have four people in that world, so like half the normal amount, because I swear it's only like eight people normally. So then you've got like four others, four other friends maybe who want to join in, but they can't because it's team only. This seems really stupid. I, I'm hoping team only is... Why isn't it just invite? Why isn't there just an invite option? So it's everyone can join, anyone on your friends list, or invite. I'm hoping this is just poorly written, or they're going to change it down the line, but team only seems stupid to me. I'm just going to be honest about that. There should just be an invite option. So if you want someone in your private world, you invite them. If you are happy for any friends to come into your private world, you put on all friends, or a third option, or it's no one, and it is just you. That's how it should work. It's simple. I don't know why the Fezda Ranch is doing that. I, I don't understand it. The other mode going through changes is Nuclear Winter where first off, there's more choice in Nuclear Winter maps. So currently it's just been the uh, Morgantown map going on for a little while. That came after the Flatwoods one? Is that where you'd return it? They j and yeah, they just call it the Forest one, which doesn't help because Morgantown's still in the forest. It just has a bit of other stuff in it. Regardless, there's now going to be the choice where at the start of each Nuclear Winter map, you choose for which you vote to choose for which one of the maps you want to go for. So everyone in the thing, it seems, will just be able to decide to go for the old map or the new map, and then the one with the most votes is the map you get put onto. It's fairly straightforward. It's something I'm used to from like the old COD days. It's a very standard multiplayer thing. Personally, I'd like to see more maps come into rotation, because I feel with this, I, I feel like there'll probably be a clear winner. Like personally, I prefer the Morgantown map a lot more than the old forest map, so I'd be voting Morgantown almost every time, and I think plenty of others might do the same thing. And if there's one clear winner, like, even just 70% of the time, that means most people, if they're gonna vote like 70% of the time Morgantown, you're gonna be playing Morgantown almost all the time. It's the old Dust 2 problem from Counter-Strike. Dust 2 is like the better map, just objectively it seems, so everyone votes Dust 2, so you almost always play in Dust 2, don't play on the other stuff. So, I, I do like the fact that adding them a choice, but I feel like we need more maps to be able to cycle out them all. But that will hopefully come in the future. And we are getting more information about that 
in a few days from a Zax transmission. Problem is, those Zax transmissions are almost all just five sentences wrapped up in pretty colours and stretched out over 50 sentences. If you're wondering why you should be playing Nuclear Winter though, it's because there's new rewards and old rewards coming, which oh, I, I kind of love just one of the headers of this, for a reason I'll get into it in a second. Yes, so they've mentioned previously that the Halloween-themed Nuclear Winter challenges ended early, so they're going to come back starting from December 11th. So there's this Nightmare Preceding Christmas challenge details, which is all of the Halloween awards, rewards in Nuclear Winter will come back in the Nightmare Preceding Christmas. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like my one kind of kids movie, I guess, that I love. It's very kind of dark and gothic, which is probably why I love it, but god... I legitimately belt out Jack Slavnan just all the time. I'm resisting doing it right now because no one wants to hear that, but I love it. I do. So starting Wednesday, December 11th at 7pm Eastern Time and ending on Monday, December 16th at 7pm Eastern Time. So you've got Wednesday through Monday, which is a bit of an odd time. But that is uh, six days in total to get some Halloween rewards. So if you missed them out last time, you can get them now. Then after that... There's some Christmas challenges starting Tuesday, December 17th at 7pm, so a day after the Halloween stuff ends, and ending Monday, January 6th at 7pm Eastern Time. How how many days is that? Let's... Okay, I'm going to boot up my calendar to see this. That will be... One, two, three weeks? Yeah, that's just shy of three weeks you'll have the Christmas challenges going on for. They don't actually show off in this little article the Christmas challenge rewards, but I imagine we'll see them fairly soon, and it's going to be like Santa suits, Christmas hats, maybe some camp stuff. I'm going to have to take a look at it, because I don't play Nuclear Winter very often anymore, because of various problems with it. But if the rewards are nice, I'll be tempted to go back. Because I know a few people who still play the game, or still play the mode semi-regularly, I might see if I can just do a few evenings of grinding it out with them, because playing with friends is fun regardless. Anyhow, that is, I'm just double checking that that actually is all that's in the little article there, but yes, so <laughs> to recap, Tuesday update 16 goes live, then Thursday through to Monday there's a free trial weekend and double XP, and then after all of that there's a whole bunch of, so from the 11th, so Wednesday up until the first week of January, there's a bunch of Nuclear Winter rewards as well. So, yeah, whole bunch of stuff happening. It's, man, there's there's a lot going on over mid to late December in 76. I will, of course, be covering lots of it, so stay tuned to the channel, make sure you're subscribed, have clicked the notification bell, because I know a lot of people aren't seeing my videos. I've had a couple of comments recently going, hey, where's your 76 content? And I've been like, hey, I just published it for the past five days. Have you not seen any of it? And they're like, no, of course I haven't. It hasn't shown up. So click that notification bell if you've not been seeing me post lots of 76 content, because I have been. I've been posting tons of content. So click the notification bell. That is going to be it for this video, though. Just a bit of a recap and discussion. Feel free to leave your own thoughts on any of this stuff in the comments below. Personally, I'm hyped to see what Update 16 brings so I'm very much looking forward to Tuesday. Anyhow, that is going to be all for me for now. As always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.